Welcome to Electron Online. In the last couple of videos we saw how space expands and because of that galaxies are moving away from each other. So that gives us kind of an idea of what space must be because it looks like space is sufficiently a fabric that galaxies are essentially stuck to space and as space expands the galaxies move along with it, kind of like a spider web, a three-dimensional spider web. Well there's another very interesting aspect of space that gives us a little bit more insight into what space might be. And again, when we say space, we mean the emptiness out there, not the universe, but all the empty space between the galaxies, between the stars, between the planets, the comets, the moons, everything else. It's the stuff in between when everything else is removed, but it's something, not nothing. One of the interesting things about it is that we now realize, of course, that space itself has been expanding and in the 1960s, there were two Bell Laboratory engineers, and I can't think of their name at the top of my head, who discovered with their new telescope that they were experimenting with, that they were receiving noise in all directions. And later on, in, after researching what this noise might be, they began to realize that this was actually radiation, electromagnetic radiation they were picking up in all directions. It turned out it was microwave radiation and the wavelength of that radiation was about one millimeter in length. And what was surprising about it was that the length of the radiation, the wavelength, was almost exactly the same no matter which direction they scanned the telescope, no matter which direction they were looking, no matter what time of the year, time of the day, time of the night, any direction, up, down, left, right, you name it, they were receiving the exact same radiation. So it seemed like radiation was moving towards the Earth from all directions, which meant that this radiation was going through space in all directions. All of space, all the universe must be filled with this radiation of one millimeter in length. That's very unusual because any other source puts out radiation at many wavelengths. The light we get from the sun has ultraviolet radiation, visible light, all the various colors, infrared radiation, a vast band of radiation from every source. That is nature. So where did this radiation come from that was just exactly the same in all directions? Not only that, why was it one millimeter in length? And then when they started thinking about space was expanding, then they realized that a long time ago, 13.8 billion years ago when the universe first started, all this radiation must have been packed together in a very tiny universe. And since then the universe has been expanding, and it turns out that as the universe expands, any radiation that's within the universe expands with it. So as the space is expanding, it pulls the radiation out and makes the wavelengths longer and longer over the billions and billions of years. We then realized that this radiation had been in the entire universe for 13.8 billion years and expanding, getting longer. So at first, the radiation was about one micrometer long, about a thousand nanometers. And then, as space expanded over the billions and billions of years, it expanded to a thousand micrometers long. So we estimate that the space has expanded a thousand fold in all directions. So the radiation that we saw that was permeating the universe, we now call it the cosmic microwave background radiation. Well, it has been expanding. Somebody just came home and so our dogs are going kind of crazy greeting the person coming home. All right. Anyway, so coming back to this, the universe has been expanding for 13.8 billion years and has expanded a thousand fold in every direction. And with the expansion of space itself, yes, we could say the universe expanded, but space itself, the fabric of space itself expanded. And with it, it pulled the radiation that permeated the entire universe out to the current length of one millimeter. So space also stretches the radiation that travels through it. Now, of course, when we communicate or we get light from the sun, it's only on its way for a few seconds, a few minutes, or a few microseconds, depending upon how close the object is that sends out the radiation. And over that small amount of time, of course, we don't see that expansion. But going back billions of years, over the billions of years, we realized space has been expanding and has been stretching all the radiation that existed within it. So the 
radiation that we get from a galaxy that's billions of light years away has been expanding as it came towards us because all has been traveling through space and space expands. So this discovery gave us enormous insight again to the beginning of the universe that the universe has been expanding, that space itself has been expanding and because of it that the radiation within space has been expanding as well. So space is constructed of something that can stretch and as it stretches it stretches the electromagnetic radiation within it along with it as well in the exact same proportion as we, ex as we now realize that space expanded a thousandfold in all directions since the very beginning and we're not going to the very, very beginning, but since, well, an event that happened about 380,000 years after the very beginning of the universe, and since then, it's expanded in this fashion. So, whatever space is, it's able to stretch radiation as expanded. That gives us a more insight as to what space can actually be.